Hi guys, welcome to Boxing Science. If not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button so you can see all our free content. Today we're doing a strength and conditioning session with Jordan Gill. Uh, we're going towards a lot of stages of camp now where we're wanting to be working on more uh, faster and more explosive actions. However, Jordan is like kind of working his way back up maximum strength. So we use one uh, session a week working on high loads and then session towards the back end of the week working on speed. So we like kind of combining uh, strength and strength speed at the same time. So we're going to start off with some repeated counter movement jumps to help uh, improve the explosiveness of the lower body. And then we're going to translate that into some med ball uh, rotational throws. Where it's actually going to be challenging its hip rotation. So it's transferring that through the kinetic chain. Then we're going to be working on landmine squat to press with the bands. So working on some accommodating resistance. So it's having to produce like a lot of tension, just like you would do on a normal squat, but we're going to a lighter load and the bands are forcing him to be accelerating all the way through the movement, so this is going to really benefit his speed. We pair that up with some med ball slams, we're going to do some landmine punch, so we're working on some more punch specific actions. Pair that up with cable pull downs for some posterior work, and then we're going to do some single leg glute bridge with bands. It's a great way to really fire up the hips, and then we're going to be uh, pairing that with split stance uh, med ball rotational throws. So he's firing up all his glutes, his hips, and then he gets into that rotational, uh, sorry, that split stance for the rotational throws. When he catches the ball, this hip is going to be nice and potentiated, nice and solid. It's going to be able to put a lot of force through the floor. So he's keeping that lower body stable as he's rotating through. Then we're going to finish off with some uh, core capacity work with some single arm farmer walks and some Swiss ball plank circle and then it's going to hold it at the end. So we're looking for time and attention for his core because like I said, we're building up uh, strength, uh, maximal strength as well. And we're losing a little bit of that kind of that time under tension or that core tension through not having a heavy uh, main lift. So wanting to, instead of having this as a um, more explosive end to the session, we can be working on uh, some trunk capacity work. Okay guys. Uh, enjoy the video, enjoy the workout. If you've got any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. Nice. Don't overreach, keep your shoulders pinned back. Okay. Good, that's it. Got chest locked in. That's it. Got that then locked. That's it. Here, can't move the jumps, keep the arms nice and rigid, shoulders pinned back. Leave with that chest every time. Arms rigid. Even when we jump up, don't shrug it up. Arms rigid all the way. Good, chest up. Yes, good. Yes, good. Take all the way through. Let's knee a little bit closer. Yeah, there, that's it. We're drive through the hips, squeeze glutes at the top. Here we Okay guys, so that's the workout. Like I said, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button so you get to uh, watch plenty more uh, training highlights down here at Boxing Science. Cheers guys, see you on the next video.